Hey friends, it's Susan. Welcome to the Age of Becoming, and today a movement snack, a nourishing nibble, and today one of the most essential things that you can do with your body, especially as it ages. That is getting down and up off the floor. This is such an important movement for your body's health and well-being and for your independence as you get older. I find that we, in our, car, our culture of comfort, um, of beds and chairs, that we tend to do this less and less the older we get. And one of the great benefits of having children and pets in your life is that you can have more opportunities to be on the floor and getting up and down off the floor. I'm going to show you a couple variations and, um, and let's play with how you can increase your range of motion and your ease with getting up and down um, in a variety of ways. The first, of course, is um, in all the times during the day that you come in and out of a chair. So whether you're sitting on a chair or a toilet, playing with coming up and down off of a seat in a way that is mindful and that actually uses the strength of your body rather than momentum. So, right, so one of the things that we can do is we can push off using our arms, especially if the chair has arms on it to hoist ourselves up. We can also do the sort of, the sort of, uh, you know, like using momentum to get ourselves up. And instead, what I'm inviting is to be very mindful when you come up and down off of a seat. And one of the things I do is I tend to drop myself. Instead, can I just let myself lower slowly and with control? And then when I come to come up, get my weight in my heels, get my ankles right underneath my knees, and lift myself up. And you can even do this several times, right? Is to just play with coming up and down slowly and with control, using the strength of your body, especially your hips and your legs. So once you've done that for a while, we can also play with getting on the floor and coming off the coming on and off the floor. So um, say you've got children or pets in your life, you come down. It's one of the best ways of connecting with little people and little creatures. And once you're down, first of all, just notice how can I get up? How can I get? So one of the things that you can do is use support. Use the help of a chair or a couch or a coffee table and experiment with coming and using both sides, right? So use your left side and your right side. Again, you can do it multiple times and use your body's strength and use your creativity and your awareness to experiment with different ways up and down. Then we can also do this without the help of a chair, using your hands, using your knees, you can play with um, coming to all fours, yeah? And finding your way, however you find your way, back up to standing, right? And so notice um, if there's strain in your body, notice if there's strain in your knees or in your lower back. And this is just information about parts of your body that may need more support, more strength, and more help, yeah? Then, eventually, the invitation is to find ways of coming to standing without using your hands, right? So true strength in the hips is finding how can I get myself back to standing without using my hands, right? And so this takes practice. 
ah, right? <laughs> and, and it's not about getting it perfectly. It's not about getting it right. It's about inviting yourself to experiment with a bunch of different ways of coming up and down. I can't emphasize enough how important this skill is. And especially if it feels challenging or even unavailable to you right now, please experiment with different ways of getting yourself up and down. I'd love to hear how it goes for you. Tell me what your questions are. Leave a comment below and breathe deep, friends. Shine bright and show up.